We are in this place today for a single agenda with knowledge and our conscience is clear that altars that have been erected over a period of time consciously we can declare that they shall come down today. We are tired of confusion. We are ready to move. If you are ready to move, shout yes. We are tired of stagnation. We've got to move. I want to invite my wife to make some few declarations. We are not leaving this altar until we are sure of what we came to do. She will make a few declarations as we are standing. Then I will make one decree and then we begin the operation. We are here today to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit by lifting up the altar of Jesus and lowering every satanic altar. Praise the Lord once again. Amen. Praise the Lord once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Praise the Lord. And uh, I, I, I don't know. But what God wants to do today. I am just waiting for your testimony. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has done mighty things already. And the Lord has already done them. Praise the Lord. And this morning, we have done 21 days. We have done 21 days preparing for this service. But there's a team that has done 28 days for the same. And the Lord has said a lot of things. And what he has said that I want to give you this morning comes from Isaiah 43, verse 19. Isaiah 43, verse 19. And this is what the Lord is saying. Just listen. This is a very simple word that you will remember. You don't even have to write it down. It is saying, NIV says this, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it's, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Praise the Lord. The Lord has said that he's doing what? A new thing. He's doing a new thing in our lives. And that is what this service is all about. Praise the Lord. And I have come to tell you this. He has said that it is done. It is done. Are you getting me? It is done. It is done. And if, if you have come here, you are new, you are not sure. I want to confirm this word to you this morning. That the Lord has said that anything you have desired from him, anything you have cried about, anything you've been asking for, it is done today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is done. It is done. Raise your faith. If you, if you did not come here believing anything, if you came here disappointed, some of you have had a very difficult week, I am telling you this morning that the Lord is saying, whatever he has said will be done, it is done. And I want you to be ready. It is going to be a powerful move. Before you even reach it, before you even leave this place, you will start receiving reports of things that have changed. You will start receiving reports of testimonies. You will start receiving reports. Oh my God. You will receive reports of what the Lord has done. Some of you will come back to testify even before you leave. That as you are there, there was a message that was sent. As you are there, there is healing that has taken place. The Lord is doing it. And I trust that he will do it. Praise the Lord. He's doing a lot of things in our lives. He's doing a lot of things in our families, in our spouses, in our children, in our health, 
in our businesses. Everything is turning around from this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as we have gone through the month of November, the Lord put transformation in our life. As he's doing a new thing from this time, let all those lessons that we learned ensure that we walk in this victory all the days of our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want you to be ready. Please, of all the days, of all the days, of all the days, today is the day that you must be very alert. That you must listen to just that one word that is meant for you. That you must obey. If we are standing, stand. If we are singing, sing. If we are praising, praise. Because this is the day. Don't live here empty-handed when every, people are having overflows. I want each one of you to leave this place with an overflow. With an overflow. With that miracle. With that breakthrough. With that beginning. Praise the Lord. Stop minding about the past. The past is over. The, the last second that we have passed, the past is over. We are in a new beginning. Praise the Lord. Even if you came here, you did not believe. That is over. That is in the past. Now we are in believing. Praise the Lord. And as the Lord has declared, I know my words cannot explain what God has planned. I cannot, yani, my words cannot be enough to explain what the Lord is doing in your life, what the Lord has prepared. But because he is the author of this business, I want you to accept that he has his will and he has his way in your life. Praise the Lord. Do not limit, do not limit God by the words that I've used. Yeah? If I've not mentioned that you'll have a child, do not limit that to what I said. I want you to open your minds and let the Lord do his will in your life the way he knows how to do. He's the only one who knows how to do it. And I want us to raise our hands and sing this simple song. And that song is a prayer, is a declaration. Surrender yourselves and sing it out with the, all of you, with your heart, with your mind, with your body, with your spirit. Have your way, Lord, have your way, have your way, Lord, have your way, have your way, Lord, have your way, oh Lord, have your way, have your way. Get to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen.